types of electrical braking. Electric braking can be applied to the traction vehicle by any one of the following methods, namely plugging, rear static braking, regenerative braking. Plugging. This is the simplest type of braking. This occurs when motor windings are connected for reverse direction of rotation at the same time when armature is still rotating in the forward direction either under the deed of an external torque or due to inertia. Plugging involves reconnection of power supply to the motor so that it tends to drive in the opposite direction. It is obvious that if it left to itself, the system will come to rest and then accelerate in the reverse direction. In case it is required to bring the drive system to rest, it is necessary to include a special device to cut off the supply exactly at the instant when the motor stops. Rear Static Braking In the following braking, motor after switching off is ready to run as a generator. The output of generator is dissipated in resistance causing retardation. Rear static braking is done in types. Cross connection, equalizer connection. Equalizer connection. For traction work, where two or more motors are employed. These are connected in parallel for braking because series connection will produce too high voltage. Kinetic energy of the vehicle is utilized in driving the machines as generators which is dissipated in braking resistance in the form of heat. To guarantee that two machines allocate the load uniformly, equalizer connection is used. If this is not used, the machine's acceleration built up primarily would send a current through the second machine in reverse direction resulting it to excite with reversed voltage so that two machines would be short-circuited. Current will be severely high and this situation will be prevented by equalizer. Equalizer connection is important all through braking interaction. Cross connection. In this field of machine 2 is connected in series with armature of machine 1. And the field of machine 1 is connected in series with armature of machine 2. Assume the voltage of machine 1 is greater than that of 2. It will send larger current all the way through field of machine 2, resulting it to excite to elevated voltage. In the same time machine 1 excitation is low, since lower voltage of machine 2. Therefore, Machine 2 will generate high voltage and Machine 1 voltage will be reduced. Thus, automatic compensation is provided and the two machines operate satisfactorily. Since cross connection is all through braking of traction motors, current in any of the motor will not go to a very high value. Regenerative braking In regenerative braking method, even though motor is made to run as a generator, current instead of being fed to a resistance is fed to the mains. Necessary situation for it is that induced EMF will be vaguely more than the supply voltage. This method can't be applied for synchronous motors. In order to reach the following braking, it is necessary that the voltage produced by the machine will go beyond the supply voltage. The voltage will be kept at this value irrespective of machine speed. In the case of four series motors connected in parallel through normal running that is motoring. One scheme of connection all through this braking is to organize the machines as shunt. Machines with series fields of three machines connected across the supply in series with suitable resistance. One of the field winding is still kept in series across the four parallel armatures. The machine acts as a compound generator. Such a change is quite stable as any change in line voltage produces change in excitation. This produces subsequent change in EMF of motors. 
so that natural compensation is provided. Let's the line voltage tend to increase beyond the EMF of generators. Increase in voltage across the shunt circuit increases the excitation which leads to increased generated voltage, vice versa. The arrangement is therefore self-compensating. DC series motor will not be applied for regenerative braking without any changes. When regeneration current through armature reverses, excitation is maintained. Hence field connection must be revert.